entry in the legacy is one I truly wish I spent more time with growing up. Sonic Battle is one game where I love to return for how fun the gameplay is. It's a bit of a, when I play it, it's just a mix of like a arena fighter and a platform fighter combined into one gameplay style. Which is crazy, especially because this was on the Game Boy Advance. And looking at Shadow's appearances in the Game Boy Advance games, I'm so glad he actually made it into this one. Because he was not able to make it into Advance 1, 2, or 3. Game Boy is limited with how many buttons are there and which, which your moves can be. It's a lot of fun with all how you create if you can be with a lot of the attacks Shadow's able to pull off, especially with all like the chaos energy he's able to utilize. It's crazy, especially if you haven't even seen how this game plays. Because I guarantee you, if you've seen like any sprite animation or Mario Bros. Z, you've definitely seen how Shadow operates with all of these moves. And what surprisingly does catch my eye though is the dive kick that he has because. The way it looks, it, it feels a lot similar to like the one that Sonic has in Smash Brawl when he was first introduced in Brawl. Because I truly think when you, if Shadow in Battle is like transferred over into Smash, it would make like for an incredible move set. The story was a bit odd to go through as instead of unlocking each character in one mode, like in 06 or Adventure, you, you had to go into each character's story one by one. You don't get to Shadow until you're at the very end of the game. But Shadow does make appearances throughout the story as he is trying to destroy Emerald, who is the central point of the game. Which even feels crazy to talk about now, especially because he finally made a return in the recent preview for the Shadow Gens prologue. I bring this up now a lot because they definitely are very connected. With Emerald's backstory, it was he was created by the ancient race was destroyed by Emerald after he went rogue. After, later on, he was then found by Gerald, who tried to calm him down his, the, the, his whole destructive side by giving him his soul. And by doing so, he modeled the soul similar to Maria. He, however, Shadow had no info about this. At, as he saw Emerald as a complete threat to the world due to how destructive he could be with his potential. Side note, despite where this game released and with Shadow the Hedgehog, I definitely think this takes place after the events of Shadow the Hedgehog as it makes sense for his actions, especially because he, Shadow in this game does know who Maria is. So it would make more sense for, him, for this game to actually take place after that because I feel the if he were to just forget as he's going into uh, his game, then the it would be a bit odd for uh, how, how he'd be operating. Anywho, when you finally get the Shadow story, you do finally understand Emerald's origins, which then leads him to help understand Emerald more, and he's even willing to help him reach his potential once he gives him a Chaos Emerald, which leads to uh, two back-to-back -back fights. Which I was very bad at. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, hi, Emerald. How are you doing, man? How you doing today, buddy? You dive kicked me in the middle of batteries. Other side note, uh, re the rematching with the AIs is ridiculous. Once you do this, though, you then stop playing as Shadow. As you're now playing as Emerald, preparing to fight him again at a much higher level. Which helps better emphasize Emerald's growth and the better, how much better his relationship is with Shadow now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Doing a huge tide jump to the end of the story, but pretty much, once you beat Emerald in the last story, it's revealed Gerald installed one last resort in case Emerald went out of control again, causing him to uh, take himself out. Crazy to look at the similarities both of them share. Both were influenced by Gerald to instead be an icon of peace, a connection to Maria, the way both developed better with Sonic and his friends, and how both were willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. Only Shadow forever gone until Jens finally brought him back. I truly hope that 
you get a unique interaction with these two once again. Because it's even crazier to think about looking back, because the first way I was introduced to Emerald was through the Sonic X anime before I even played through Sonic Battle, because I found it crazy to just look at it and think, wow, they never really got to have an interaction at all because for battle to cook immediately took place after the events of SA2. I have a bit more into how Shadow is in the Sonic X for another video. Now, I mean, we, it's time to get ready as we finally dive into his own game. 